quick uh, there's the uh, six panels I put up on the house and if you can see underneath there there's the uh, combiner box okay and then right now I got Una rack rail yeah that's the unirack and then I have the uh, uh, tile hooks you can see them right there they just go underneath the tile and this is Una Unirack UNI then RAC and those are 260 watt uh, Canadian solar panels and I have them going in uh, three one two three one two three in series and then it'll drop down into the converter box parallel so I have a uh, three mods of two in parallel okay so th th one two three then one two three okay then into parallel so there it is that's the ray up there so let me show you the uh, converter box okay before I show you the uh, converter box I'm just gonna show you a little uh, just a little uh, schematic I grew or a little picture I drew okay so this is how it kind of works okay so what I got going on is got uh, uh, negative to positive or positive to negative however you want to say it positive to negative and then you have the negative dropping down into the ground where you're going to ground it see where it goes into the ground then over here you have the positive over here okay so the first two on here don't look at three and four when I show you the array because that's going to be for my other six okay I'm going to have to get another charge controller okay because my charge controller is only good for 150 VOC okay so then here's the other uh, three mods in series which I have three mods in series and two uh, so it's the two strings in parallel okay so two times three is six alright so then I have the other one just dropping down to number two and same thing negative to positive negative to positive or however you want to say it positive to negative positive to negative or negative to positive however you want to say it then at the end we have the negative coming over here into the ground okay so before I go show you that over there again so we have this charge controller for these three mods can only take up to 150 volts so the 150 volts I have to put these in series okay because my voltage would be too high if I put it in parallel because that would amp up my <clears throat> my amps that would amp up my amps okay instead of my voltage my volt my charge controller needs at least 65 volts to kick on okay at least 65 volts so this right here these three I, I don't know the exact voltage of my each I think it's uh oh it's 37.6 volts for each panel so my open voltage will be 112 volts which will be a sweet spot my operating voltage will be 90.9 but you want to know what your VOC is, okay? Your uh, open voltage, because that's where there's there's no resistance or anything, and it's just bringing straight volts, okay? So it'll be 112. That'll be enough to kick the uh, charge controller on. This is going to be a 48 volt system, okay? So you gotta you gotta put that all in. Uh, I was going to do 24 volt system. All that has to come. You have to decide if you're going to have a 24 or 12, 24 or 44 volt system. You have to make sure that you uh, know all your numbers for your array before you do any of this. So picture this right here again, which I'm going to do, which you saw there was two open two open spots. I'm going to add another four on my roof, or well, another six actually, another six, and then it'll fill these spots. I have them pre-wired, so when I show you over there the uh, uh, converter box, you don't get confused. So, but these are pre-wired, three and four is pre-wired for another six okay so right now my voltage for just these right here are, is 1560 volts okay and then we're gonna double that to another six panels which will bring me to 3120 volts all right so let me show you the combiner box real quick all right you guys so here's the combiner box I want to show you make sure that you get all your numbers correct and you get some help if you don't know what you're what's going on because you will smoke your equipment uh, if you're just hooking stuff up to your array uh, you'll burn your uh, charge controller out and the charge controllers are fairly expensive uh, the one I got is the Flexmax 80 which is uh, can do up to 80 amps and it's over 500 bucks right around 500 bucks so uh, 
just make sure that you get your numbers right before you make sure your array is right before you uh, hook anything up. So like I said, the FlexMax 80 can take 150 volts. I've got everything split up like I showing you on the uh, schematic there. These two are gonna come live. These two will stay off until I put the other uh, six panels up, but I've already got it pre-wired and everything. But this is what it is. So it's, you see it's set for, it's got 100, 150 VOC. Okay, it can't go above that. If it goes above that, you will smoke your converter. Uh, I'm your charge controller so charge controller so here it is you can see how the negative is here and negative is here negative is here negative is here these two you wouldn't think about because there's nothing there I don't have six it's just pre-wired and here's uh, one in series and the other the three panels in series and the other three panels in series okay and 150 volts 150 volts okay so can't go over that or else your charge controller will get burnt up and then your power will come off of here which i have this uh already knocked out underneath here which i'll just come right across here and uh pop into my wall here and then go from there into my charge controller so i just wanted to show you guys that um that is the uh first leg how I decided to do it the first leg um, is to put the my array up first all my panels up on my roof first get everything wired over to the uh, converter box and uh, that's it all right you guys uh, please subscribe give me a thumbs up uh, let me know if I missed anything or whatever or uh, anybody got any ideas or anything like that let me know all right